everyone and welcome to Lavellia's Coloring. This is part six of my coloring book collection and in this part I'm going to show you all of my Amazon published books. They were formerly known as CreateSpace. I thought that instead of separating them into two videos um, I would just do one so this will most likely take more than an hour. Uh, fortunately today we had snow um, or last night and the school district closed all the schools due to the weather conditions and uh, roads being closed so my youngest will be playing with his siblings while I film and then hopefully it just um, <laughs> it will go fast for me I won't have to keep stopping um, I wanted to let you all know that at first I did stay away from books published by create space because the books I did own um, I had a really hard time coloring in it because I mainly used colored pencils um, my hand would just cramp up uh, because I would burnish or use colorless blender and I just wasn't I wasn't enjoying it so um, even if I loved the illustrations I would stay away from it uh, it wasn't until last year where I pretty much went crazy buying create space published books and it is all thanks to um, several people like Anne uh, from a colorful life KP colors Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven, and especially V from Color with V. They all showed colorings from Create Space books um, using markers, both alcohol and water based. Um, v used during ink tents. And yeah, so thanks to them, I'm finally able to appreciate and support the artwork um, from the artists who can only print them on Amazon uh, published papers instead um, from the publishers that do the 10 by 10 books or hardcover books and another great reason to get them is that you can print it off onto cardstock watercolor paper or marker paper so you're able to color the images with the mediums you love to use so uh, we'll go ahead and start with my smaller sized um, create space paper coloring books <laughs> and then go from there first I'll clear this table up and then we'll get started. The first book I want to share with you from part six uh, of my coloring book collection is The World of Fairies coloring book. It is illustrated by Sarah Burier or Burier. I do have her um, first book which is the mermaids one but it was the smaller size book and I did show that um, on my first the first part of my collection. So this one has all fairies very beautiful illustrations this was in the front cover um, I don't know for me um, the way I would want to color her images I would um, print it out onto cardstock and then use pencils yeah that would probably be what I'm more comfortable with so this is world of fairies coloring book by Sarah Burie the next book I want to share with you is by Heather Valentin. This is the Lunar Mysteries coloring book. I only have one of her books and I know she has like, oh, this is volume 53, so she has over 53, but I don't know, I'm not really um, attracted to her other um, illustrations, but these illustrations, I am, I you know, there's something attractive to me uh, with these ones compared to her other illustrations, so. So I just picked this up. I think there was another one that kind of um, has the same uh, type of illustrations, um, but I haven't uh, picked it up or anything yet. Yeah. Okay, so this is Lunar Mysteries by Heather Valentin. So the next book I want to share with you is called A Happy Hopper's Coloring Book. It is illustrated by Ellen Jarecki. And yeah, so many cute images of bunnies and all create space paper, I believe, are only one sided. So, yeah, I know there's three more, I believe, three more um, that come uh, from Ellen Jarecki, but I only got this one for now. Okay, so this is A Happy Hopper's Coloring Book, Volume 1. 
Illustrated by Ellen Jarecki. Okay, so this is, sorry to clear, this is Country Christmas um, Coloring Book, and it's by the publishing group uh, Coloring Book Cafe. And then they have um, some sample pages in the back. Um, I was <laughs> happily enabled by um, Jen from Reading with Pugs. And I saw this, and uh, when I got it, it was already past Christmas, but I wanted to get it for next year. And there are doubles um, of the images. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Country Christmas Coloring Book by Coloring Book Cafe. The next book is Fairy Fantasy by Jason Hamilton and let me go ahead and put the stand up a little bit there we go okay so um I got his book um, because uh, Anne from Colorful Life was showcasing it and yeah, I really love his uh, illustrations of the fairies I think he has mermaids too but I only picked up one and I'm just going to wait till I actually color in it. Since it's um, Amazon published papers, I mean, his book will always be up there. Hopefully, you know, I, hopefully they don't uh, go out of print. And then when I'm ready to purchase another one of his books, um, I'll just do it. And in the back, um, he added bonuses where. Um, it's like postcard size that you can color if you don't want to color the um, the big pages. Okay, so this is Fairy Fantasy by Jason Hamilton. Next book is Travel Mosaic Color by Number, and this is by Sun Life Drawing. I picked this uh, book up because um, I was watching Zoe Archer. And color creatively and Lisa's coloring corner uh, they were doing um, color by number uh, Sun Life mosaic um, event and I don't know I've never done um, color by number so I was like might as well try it out and see I mean you can't really tell what it looks like but um, here my son tried to um, color but did not finish so yeah, so I'm glad I picked this up. It was fun um, just picking out the colors that belong to the numbers and then just laying it out. So this is Travel Mosaic Colored by Number by Sun Life Drawing. The next book is The Chibi Zodiac. Um, this is by Yam Puff. She does have several um, uh, books, but I only got this one. This was enabled by um, Mo Mimo. She does a lot of um, hauls, uh, coloring book hauls, and then she also does um, flip throughs of them. So in this book, you have like the chibi style, and then like the mini chibi style, <laughs> and then this like uh, I guess you'd call manga, or is it also chibi? I don't know. I get mixed up of what each of them are, but yeah, really cute. Um, uh, portraits of girls and the different styles. So it's kind of like the same pose, but um, illustrated differently. Yeah. Okay, so this is Chibi Zodiac, a coloring book by Yam Puff. The next book is Dragons with Pets, and this is illustrated by Becca Gollins. Um, I was enabled by Mo Mimo also. Um, I saw this in one of her flip throughs and hauls and yeah I just after I saw the illustrations I mean look at that it's so cute <laughs> here's one with a cat for all you cat lovers yeah, and then you have one for dogs yeah so a hamster a few collect mice or rats so cute yeah, so uh, Becca Gollins does have an Etsy um, where you can uh, purchase other dragons' uh, illustrations um, as PDFs. And I think she has one with dragons with food. And 
yeah, so some other like themes. So, and I believe her her store is Dragons and Beasties too. So, yep. So this is Dragons with Bet uh, Pets. <laughs> Sorry, Dragons with Pets, illustrated by Becca Gollins. Okay, this book I did show um on one of my um, coloring book hauls. Uh, is Whimsical Darlings coloring book. It is by Jana Prosperina. Uh, she does have several um, other books, grayscale books especially. Um, you can also purchase her uh, images through her uh, illustrations through her Etsy page. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of portraits with girls. Or, yeah, portraits with girls. Um, some of them they're with animals, some of them they're just flowers. Yeah, really cute. So this is Whimsical Darlings coloring book by Jana Prosperina. And this book is Amy Brown Fairies Coloring Book. It comes with 20 fairies to color. I only have one of her books, um, mostly because I haven't really colored in this one yet, so um, when I do, I'll see about her other books, but they almost look all the same to me, so I'm just waiting for one that might stand out. Yeah. Okay, so this is Amy Brown Fairy's coloring book. The next book I have is Astro Inkling Zodiac Coloring Book by Tanya Bond. Um, the only other book I have by Tanya is the smaller um, sized one called Mini Inklings I showed in part one. Um, yeah, so this was the first book I, uh, one of the first uh, Create Space books and when I color in it, yeah, even though I loved um, the end result, it was just really, really hard on my hands and it took a long time to finish the pictures. So um, this one will have all different uh, portraits of girls or women um, showing um, the zodiac sign, or representing a, a different zodiac sign. Okay, so this is Astro Inkling Zodiac Coloring Book by Tanya Bond. The next book I have is Color My Sketchbook by Bennett Klein. Uh, this is the first one, and it's um, after my other grayscale book, uh, I think it's Beautiful Creatures, I got this one, and um, yeah, but when I realized it was Create Space Paper, I was like, oh, how am I gonna color this? Um, so. I mean, I've seen a lot of beautiful colorings from this book, so I think I just need to um, play with grayscale. <laughs> Get more confident in it, really. I don't know why it just seems so hard for me. Line art just seems a lot more easier. Yeah. Okay, so this is Color My Sketchbook by Bennett Klein. This is the first book. Uh, the other book I have by Bennett Klein and also by his daughter May Klein is Color My Sketchbook Dragons. So this is a lovely book. I love the dragons in here. So this is also grayscale. Okay, so this is Color My Sketchbook Dragons by Bennett Klein and May Klein. So the next several um, books are from White's Tag. Um, I only picked out the books um, that I would be most interested in coloring. So I, I skipped one and two and yeah, I skipped around. So this one is um, a coloring book for adults and not children. This is volume number three. And yeah. I was, uh, I, I saw these books a long time ago, but it wasn't until I saw, um, I think, Color and Chat with Sammy and KP Colors do colorings in here, especially when um, Sammy did that whole um, thing that's 
I think she did like a series of uh, uh, white stag colorings. Yeah. So this is volume number three. The next one by White Stag um, is a fairy coloring book for adults and all children, and it's volume number four. Cute. So yeah, I don't know. I just like the the cute one, even though some of them are kind of sad looking. Uh, this was just ideas for a color along that I wanted to do with this one, but I didn't get around to doing it. So this is a fairy coloring book, volume number four. And the next one is a nautical coloring book uh, for adults and all children, and it's volume number five. I really love um, White Stag's illustration. Okay, so this is an article coloring book, volume number five. The next one I have by White Stag is another nautical coloring book, but this one is volume number 11. Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> I skipped a lot of books. So, um, yeah. This is a ghost. So this is a nautical coloring book, volume 11. The next one I bought for this past Christmas um, another book I wasn't able to get to. <laughs> That's why this year I want to start like around Thanksgiving time or just November just to get a head start on um, Christmas colorings. KP did a video of herself coloring in here. Okay, so this is a winter fantasy coloring book, and this is volume number 10, and this is the last that I have um, by White Stag. And the next couple books um, were presents from my cousin. He added it to my, uh, he was my secret Santa, so he added these. Uh, we play Pokemon Go whenever we get together. So this is the awesome Pokemon coloring book, and it's by Joydom Coloring. So cute books of all the Pokemons. Um, my youngest son has Snorlax stuffed animal, so he always so <laughs> he always has it with him when he sleeps. So, awesome Pokemon coloring book by Joydom Coloring. And the other Pokemon coloring book that's also by my cousin, from my cousin, um, it doesn't really say who illustrated it, I don't think. Uh, no, it, it does uh, tell you um, a history of Pokemon, their and their cultural influence. So this is um, double-sided images. So I wouldn't be able to use um, pens, really. But, I mean, I can always copy it if I really wanted to, but I'll just maybe use crayons. Do you have my crayons? I could use that, so. Okay, so this is Pokemon Coloring Book. Next um, couple books are by Tanya Bogima Stolova. Uh, I don't have the first one or the second one. I kind of skipped old to Nice Little Town 3. I don't know. Um, when I first saw this, um, uh, I, don't know, I just like the different um, kinds of houses because I love, <laughs> I don't know if you've watched that TV show um, where this guy builds tree houses for people. So I love watching his show and then I also love 
like um, watching YouTube of people's um, tiny homes. I don't know, I'm just kind of fascinated. Be like, oh, I want a tiny home just for my, <laughs> for myself to color in with all my coloring books. But yeah, this is a lovely page. Okay, so this is A Nice Little Town 3 by Tanya Bogima Stolova. The next one I have by Tanya Bogima is Nice Little Town 5. I did skip um, Nice Little Town 4. I don't remember why, but um, I know I saw 5 and I really love the images in here. Uh, I know it's like, you can kind of imagine like if you were one of these little mice. It would be so lovely to have like a house like this. Or in a boat. Yeah. Cute pictures. So this is Nice Little Town 5. The next one I have is Nice Little Town Christmas 2. I don't have Christmas 1. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I looked at uh, Christmas 1 but I I love the images um, on the second one better than the first one, so I just went and picked up this one. Yeah. Okay, so this is Nice Little Town Christmas 2. And the latest one I have uh, from Tatiana Bogima Stolova is Nice Little Town 7. And I did show this um, on a coloring haul. And this one, the, the difference between this one and her previous book is that she has like a slight grayscale to it. So it's nice to, to help out um, where to put your shades. Or if you want to just lay markers, then you won't have to worry about shading it in. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so this is Nice Little Town 7, illustrated by Tatiana Bogima Stolova. Now, the next few books are by Deborah Mueller, or Mueller? Yeah, Deborah Mueller, and I was so happily <laughs> enabled by Anne Hatfield. I mean, I think for me, she's like the queen uh, color of Deborah Mueller. Um, coloring books but yeah I would see her finished colorings in them and just oh, I love it so I wanted to pick up some of her books and I'm slowly slowly growing <laughs> I just started um, purchasing them last year so yeah. beautiful illustrations and Deborah Mueller's uh her illustrations, uh, they're so distinct that you'd know it's her work. Yeah, so uh, I didn't even say what the um, title is. <laughs> this is Steampunk Fairyland by Deborah Mueller. The next one I have by Deborah Mueller is Mermaid Tales from the Tiki Bar. Yeah, more mermaids. Really, really cute. And then you have a whale. Okay, so this is Mermaid Tales from the Tiki Bar. And this one, I picked this up for Christmas, this past Christmas. And fell in love with the cute images. Look at that. So fun with all the animals. More rabbits. Okay, so this is Winter Woodland Wonderland by Deborah Mueller. And the last one I have by Deborah Mueller is Naughty or Nice Pinup Girls. Like sexy women posing for Christmas themes. <laughs> Really cute though. Okay, so this is Naughty or Nice Pinup Girls by Deborah Mueller. 
The next several books are all by Mary Harrison. This is the first book I got from her. I think I got this either 2015 or 2016, but this is um, The Whimsical World Coloring Book, Fairies, Mermaids, Witches, and More. And more. So we have um, 25 illustrations to color. She has beautiful, cute images. Her illustrations are also distinct to her. So this is Whimsical World Coloring Book by Molly Harrison. The next book, uh, this was my second of Molly Harrison's um, that I've owned. My I remember because my sister-in-law and my brother gave this to me um, for one of the Christmases. I can't remember which one, but cute Christmas images in here. Oops. So this is Whimsical Winter Wonderland Coloring Book by Molly Harrison. So this book is Whimsical World Number 3, Mythical Sweetness, a coloring book featuring mermaids, uh, fairies, dragons, and more by Molly Harrison. Um, this book and the next three book I purchased all at once because um, Molly Harrison's house um, uh, was burned. Um, I don't know if it's burned down or it just got destroyed um, from the fires in California. So um, it's kind of, a, I think I, I got an email by Selena Fennick uh, to support um, Molly Harrison in her time of need by, you know, purchasing her books. And I do love her books, but I was just slowly collecting them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so when I got that email from uh, Selena Fennec, um, I went ahead and purchased four of Molly Harrison's books, or four more. Okay, so this is Whimsical World Number 3, Mythical Sweetness by Molly Harrison. The next one for Molly is Fairy Dreams Coloring Book. And you'll notice that um, all of my Molly Harrison books are all line art. Um, I did not get any of her grayscale, only because I'm not really comfortable with grayscale. And yeah, so I just get the line art because I'm a lot more comfortable coloring that in and putting in my own shades. So this is Fairy Dreams Coloring Book. And the next one is Colorful Fantasy Coloring Book, Fairies, Mermaids, and More. Oh, so cute, so sweet. Yeah. Really love her. Uh, portraits of women, I don't know if it's portraits, but uh, <laughs> her illustrations of the women, the fairies, mermaids, it's beautiful. So this is Colorful Fantasy Coloring Book, Colorful Fantasy Coloring Book, yeah, I did say that, okay. And the last one I have by Molly Harrison is Fairyland, a coloring book for adults. So each of the books has um, 25 images. Lovely images. Okay, so this is Fairyland, a coloring book for adults, illustrated by Molly Harrison. Okay, so the next several books are all um, uh, published by the Julia Rivers Company. And this book, I love Forrest Diver. He used the illustrations for most of the Julia Rivers books that I have. Um, but 
I mostly have been um, <laughs> enabled by V from Coloring With V uh, when she was showing her Julia Rivers books because I didn't have any at the time. I, um, I think she was showing her coloring book collection and right when I saw it, um, after watching, I went out and bought them because they were, they were inexpensive. It was like five dollars per book, so yeah. So this is, um, I didn't even say the title again, so it's a fantastic world of the Brothers Grimm. And the next one is Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, also illustrated by Forrest Diver. Beautiful illustrations. It is like intricate, but um, not too much that it doesn't uh, deter you or anything. Okay, so this is Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, illustrated by Forrest Diver. This one is Guardians of the Enchanted Forest. Another one of Forest Divers. Beautiful illustrations in these books. So this is Guardians of the Enchanted Forest, illustrated by Forest Diver. The last one I have by Forest Diver is Keepers of the Enchanted Forest. Yeah, his illustrations are also distinct to, you know, um, when you see it, you'll know that it is a forest diver illustration. So this is Keepers of the Forest and Keepers of the Enchanted Forest, illustrated by Forest Diver. The next one um, from the Julia Rivers Company is Serene Little Village, The Wondrous Life Behind the Garden Walls. Um, there was no illustrator name to this, so I don't know who to say it's from, but it's through Julia Rivers. I really like how the whole scene is just, it's just, so much going or <laughs> so much details but it's it's really cute though so I couldn't help but pick it up okay so this is serene little village and the next one is serene little village the tiny fairies of the flower meadow I, you know, I like how they have little homes, kind of, like if you were that small, what kind of house would you want to live in? Cute little scenes. There's a, there's a lot of details, but, um, I mean, if you work section by section, It'll come together beautifully, I think. Okay, so this is a Serene Little Village, The Tiny Fairies of the Flower Meadow. The next one is the Manga Invasion Coloring Book. Um, I got this just this past Christmas, um, and I put it um, on a wish list, and I can't remember which one of my sisters was the one that gifted it to me. This is a nice one for Halloween. Yeah. 
And I like how um, you can see the little mini versions, like this one, like a little tiger. Yeah, and then in the background, you can see the big tiger. <laughs> so, I mean, you have to really look at it. Um, this one is like, it's like a clam. But here, you know, like this one's the monkey, and then you see a lot of little monkeys doodled into it. So this is the Manga Invasion Coloring Book. It's illustrated by Boon Hao. And the last book I uh, bought uh, from the Julia Rivers Company is Winter Village. So lots of um, town scenes uh, for Christmas. I mean, it's going to be a lot of white, <laughs> so you have to use like shades of blues and grays or the snow or depending like, a, like if that's the sun and you add yellow into the snow. Yeah, really cute. So this is Winter Village Coloring Book. The next book I want to share with you is Coloring Fantasy coloring book by Scott Howden and I believe he does watercolors so he has his own um, painting of the, the illustration and then he gives you the line art and this one's the cover lovely illustrations. So this is Coloring Fantasy uh, illustrated by Scott Howden. And the next one I have by Scott Howden is Coloring Fantasy Volume 2. And yeah, so this is his uh, painting, I believe. And then here's examples of his other ones. I don't have his third volume. I'm waiting to color on his <laughs> book. So um, my plans with his illustrations is to print them out on co copy, or not copy paper, um, cardstock. Either cardstock or just uh, work with um, markers. But he does have lovely illustrations of women. Yeah, and then in the back he has like thumbnails of all the images that are in this book. Okay, so this is Coloring Fantasy Volume 2, illustrated by Scott Howden. The next book I want to share is Foxes and Fairies, coloring book by Meredith Dillman. It has 25 kitsune kimono and fairy designs. Very um, uh, influenced by the Japanese culture. Very beautiful illustrations. Um, in the back of each page, um, she gives you the name of the illustration. So um, she does have a second book, and then she also, uh, Coloring Heaven, did an issue with her illustrations. And if you go to Coloring J, Coloring with J, um, J E Y. She um, does a comparison about which images or which illustrations um, are in the coloring books and which one uh, are in the um, Coloring Heaven magazines. Yeah. So this is Foxes and Fairies Coloring Book by Meredith Dillman. And the next one I have by Meredith is Fanciful Fairy Fashion. Um, this one has 26 fantasy costumed fairy designs. Yeah, so this is all fairies. I uh, love how delicate um, her illustrations are. Beautiful. 
like a masquerade one. Okay, so this is Fanciful Fairy Fashion Coloring Book by Meredith Dillman. Next book I have is August Reverie Adult Coloring Book. It is illustrated by Sh Shinthaka Herath. Her images kind of um, reminds me of Her Hannah Carlson, but it, it's different, but, um, but there's something in it that just kind of reminds you of hers, of Hannah Carlson's illustrations. It's lovely, it's really beautiful. Okay, so this is August Reverie, illustrated by Shintaka Herath. And I also have her second book, uh, which is August Reverie 2 Epic. I don't have the third book because I haven't colored <laughs> in her books yet, so um, I'm waiting till I color her books before even tried to get a third book. So, yeah. Her illustrations are beautiful. Okay, so this is August Reverie 2 Epic by Shinthaka Herath. The next book is Victorian Romance, The Memory Sweet Coloring Book by Selena Fennec. And I believe Selena wrote the book um, titled Memories Wake. So these are her illustrations um, for that book. And then she has like a little uh, a snippet from uh, the scene that she's illustrated for um, the story that's in her book. She does have a grayscale version, so and I believe you can also purchase her books uh, through. She has a her own um, uh, website where you can purchase her books and um, uh, probably artist grade paper. Oh, and this um comes with uh, doubles, so I don't know if it says how many. So twenty five designs, um, so two of each. Oops, sorry. So this is Victorian Romance, The Memories Week Coloring Book by Selena Fennec. The next book is also by Selena Fennec, Fairies and Fantasy Super Coloring Collection. Um, I received a message through Selena because I um, subscribed to her website and uh, she was giving out a special... Um, of this book. Uh, it contains three of her fairies book and so all of them for one low price. I forgot what it was like. Three of the books were $14.99 so I was like oh, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> so did not waste my time. Just went ahead and purchased. So a lot of beautiful pictures and you can see her growth from her first um, illustrations to her current ones. Okay, so this is Selena Fennec Fairies and Fantasies Super Coloring Collection. The last book I have by Selena Fennec is Unicorns and Dragons Enchanting Fantasy Coloring Book. Um, I do want to get her other books, but I'm just slowly um, getting it, so um, I'm sure it's going to be on Amazon. I just hopefully it doesn't get like out of print. I hope they don't stop printing them. So lovely images. You can see like how this um, illustration looks compared to her older ones. Yeah. And these are 25 images um, and you get two of each. Okay, beautiful. So this is Unicorns and Dragons by Selena Fennec. Okay, the next few books are by Ayakuko. This is the Grayscale and Underpainting Coloring Book Surreal Fantasy. Okay, 
really interesting illustrations. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't really um, colored that much in her book because uh, yeah, the grayscale really throws me off. And even though I've, uh, I, I like the result of some of my colorings that from her books, it's just like. Like, I don't know how to color the rest of this. I probably, maybe watercolors or maybe pastels. Um, I only have the Monia soft pastels, so <laughs> I don't have like pan pastels or anything like that. So, I mean, I can always play with them to see what kind of result I would get. Yeah, and then you have um, the second uh, copy of the images. So this is Surreal Fantasy by Aikuko. The next book I have by Aikuko is Grayscale Underpainting Coloring Book, Japanese Girls. Really love her images in here. This reminds me of the, I think it's based on a Japanese story, right? Lovely images. Yeah, so I mean, I really, want to color in here but um, with pencils you know it, it's create space so it hurts my hand um, so I might try soft pastels and see how that goes so many beautiful images so this one also comes with doubles so this one is Japanese girls by Aikuko The last one I have by Kuko is Grayscale and Underpainting Coloring Book, Elegant Faces. I love how some of the background is just black, so you can just focus on the girl. This is kind of, this kind of freaks me out there, her, um, her neck. Beautiful. I love this. Yeah, and this one also comes with two of each image. Okay, so this is Elegant Faces by Aikuko. The next book I'm going to share with you is Fairies um, by Christine Karen. I have the line art coloring book. So you can see how different it is compared to her grayscale books. And this paper, even if it's, yeah, it's the Crease Face one or Amazon one. So I don't know if now they have like two different kinds. So this book comes with um, examples of her grayscales and other books. But yeah. Feels nice though, the paper. I just haven't colored in here yet. Um, I can't really decide if I want to just color straight onto the paper or uh, just copy it off onto cardstock. Yeah. So this is Fairies Line Art Coloring Book by Christine Karen. And I have Christine Karen's uh, newest um, uh, coloring book. I also have the line art of this one. This is Fairies 2. And I did show this on um, a previous coloring haul video. It has the same paper as the first one. Um, she does also have an Etsy store, so if you want to just download her images, you can do that too. Lovely, lovely illustrations. Okay, so this is Fairies 2 Line Art Coloring Book by Christine Karen. So the next several books are going to be by Zan Von Zed. It's a Coloring Quest coloring book called Ladies of Leisure. This is her first one. So it's also um, grayscaled. I don't know if she has a line art one of her first book, but um, 
at the time when I purchased it. Um, it only came with grayscale, so I picked this one up. Okay, so this is Leisure of uh, Ladies of Leisure by Zavon Said. This is the first book. Sorry for the glare if it was very. The next one I have by Zambon Said is Ladies of Leisure 2, The Quest Continues, and this is also grayscaled. Um, this one is just slightly grayscaled. Yeah, I just love how her illustrations are distinct to her. I mean, if you see it, you'll immediately know that this is the Zambon Said um, illustration. Well, for me, I haven't seen any other looks similar to her. So this is Ladies of Leisure 2. And the next one by Zambon said is Ladies of Leisure 3. And I have the line art one. I think she started um, uh, putting out a line art version. So she also has a gray scale one. And yeah, I really like line art. So I, when I saw it was available, I went ahead and picked up the line art. Beautiful illustrations. So this is Lazy Ladies of Leisure 3. The last one I have by Zanvon Z is Ladies of Leisure 4, and it's another line art coloring book by her. And there is also a grayscale of this. You can see like um, her illustrations on here. Some of them are a lot more intricate, has more details. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, Ladies of Leisure 4, illustrated by Zan Von Zed. The next several books are now going to be by Hannah Lynn. So this is her, I believe her first book, uh, I think. Um, all This is Mermaids, Fairies, and Other Girls of Whimsy coloring book. Um, yeah, so I really loved her illustrations, but I remember I was so hesitant about getting Create Space Papers books, but um, when I found out that you can use markers yeah I just every time she's she has a book out on sale I'm quick to purchase it up so yeah beautiful images so this is Mermaid's Fairies and Other Girls of Whimsy by Hannah Lynn I'm sorry for the, uh, the glare The next one I have by Hannah Lynn is a whimsy girls Christmas, sorry, a coloring book with festive girls, fairies, and more. And there's 30 images and you have two of each. And I don't think, um, I didn't realize that some of her books weren't um, printed by Create Space. Some of them were by um, Permuted uh, Permuted Press. So the papers is is different from Create Space. Yeah, but I think she now her new books are on or Amazon paper. Uh. Okay, so this is a Whimsy Girls Christmas coloring book by Hannah Lynn. The next one I have by Hannah Lynn is Maui Mermaids, an Island Whimsy Girls coloring book. This has 50 pages, magical pages. Cute. <laughs> really love um, her illustration. So this is Maui Mermaids um, and Island Whimsy Girls. 
The next book is Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. Uh, this one comes with 25 images and then you have um, a copy of it. And I think this one, like this one has a slight gray scale to the eyes. And then the second one, the second copy has no gray scale. So, yeah. So that's fairy tale princesses and storybook darlings. Oops. The next one I have is Tattoo Darlings, an Inky Girls coloring book um, by Hannah Lynn. It has it comes with forty pages, so there's no doubles in this one. Still lovely images. I mean, I don't have tattoos, but I, I like it on other people. <laughs> So, I mean, I keep telling myself, my sister and I want to get tattoos, but, you know, every year we get older and older, we keep saying, yeah, we should go get tattoos, but it never happens, so it's okay. I'll just color on these girls. Okay, so this is Tattoo Darlings by Hannah Lynn. The next one by Hannah is Victorian Darlings. And this one comes with 25 designs, so you have two copies each. I don't think she did the thing with the eyes. I think they're just um, two exact copies. Yeah. So beautiful images, Victorian images. So this is Victorian Darling's coloring book. Sorry, I keep glaring. The last one I have by Hannah Lynn is Steampunk Darling's. Oops, sorry. Lovely book. And let me see how many does this have. Also 25 designs with two copies each. Lovely illustrations. I love that she added a girl with wheelchairs or with sitting on a wheelchair. <laughs> An aquarium in her hat. Very lovely. So this is Steampunk Darlings Coloring Book by Hannah Lynn. The next um, several books will all be by um, the company Jade Summer, and that would conclude my um, Create Space slash Amazon um, published uh, coloring books. So I'll start off with the mandala coloring book, Christmas Mandalas. I did get this for Christmas, and yeah, I had fun coloring in here. And even with mandalas, I'm kind of slow. <laughs> But you know, I have four kids, so they take up a lot of my time, and um, so I always try to squeeze in coloring whenever I can. Yeah. Lovely mandalas for Christmas. So this one is Christmas Mandalas by Jade Summer. And the next book by Jade Summer is Chibi Girls. Um, this is the first Jade Summer book I bought. Um, I was enabled by Anne from Colorful Live. I believe she got it in a haul and um, I fell for the cuteness of the Chibi Girls and I had to get it. So <laughs> yeah, so they come with uh, two images, uh, yeah, two copies for image. Yeah, really beautiful. So this is Chibi Girls. The next one I have is Kawaii Girls. And this one is also, they also have um, two images, or two copies of the image. 
I think that's basically... Oh no, some of her books don't do that. So, yeah, I'm pretty selective about which Jade Summer um, coloring books I get. So, um, as I go through my books, you'll notice um, kind of a theme. Very kawaii coloring books. And kawaii, kawaii means cute in Japanese, I believe. Okay, so this is Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer. The next book is Fairy's Coloring Book. And this one comes with uh, two image each, two, or two copies. Very cute illustrations. I wish I knew who um, actually did the drawings. That would be nice to know. But very beautiful um, illustrations of the girls. So uh, this is Fairy's Coloring Book. The next one I have is Cute Fairies. So this one also comes with a two per image. And they are very cute. And you have guys in there too, guy fairies kids. Oh, very lovely book. Okay, so this is Cute Fairies. The next one is The Mermaid's uh, Coloring Book. Uh, I know there was a, um, a mermaid's book previous to this, but um, I guess they stopped. Um, it's out of print now, so can't get it or someone's like selling it at a really high price but yeah so you have guys in here too beautiful mermaids and I believe this one also comes with two two image each yeah. Okay, so this is the mermaid's coloring book. And the next one is another mermaid coloring book. And um, this one also comes with uh, doubles. The very cute, cute mermaids. The um, illustrations are different from the previous one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so cute. Yeah, very cute um, coloring book. This is Mermaid Coloring Book. Okay, this is the Alice in Wonderland coloring book. This also comes with uh, two of each. Very cute version of the Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Very cute. So this is Alice in Wonderland. The next book I have is Anime Coloring Book. I think this one came... Uh, I think they were um, like spitting out cute coloring books one after the other, I, I remember. But um, this you can notice, um, this one comes with um, an actual nose on it. I don't know if you can see it. But the next one, <laughs> um, the double image, is it here, it just has like, um, like barely any nose. So, I mean, you can have your choice of which nose you want to color. And that, I think that's all the difference you'll find. Well, even the guy has a different nose. <laughs> so, they have a very cute illustrations in here. John the Bibliophile Colorist at this page. Remember him? Remember watching that video? Yeah, very cute. 
So this is anime coloring book by Jade Summer. The next book is Cute Witches. And this does have lots of cute witches. So this comes with two copies of each, each image. So this is Cute Witches. The next book by Jade Summer is The Light and Dark Fantasy. And this one um, is from both the Light Fantasy coloring book and the Dark Fantasy coloring book. But now they're um, both together in one book and they're grayscale. So I got this book um, just so I can put uh, markers down. And then if I felt like um, it needed pencils on top, I would do that. But I love how they did their grayscale in here. So I like the, um, uh, the end result. Yeah, so I think this is the light fantasy in the back. You'll have the dark fantasy. This one. This one. Okay, so this is the Grayscale Coloring Book, Light and Dark Fantasy. So the next one is Vampires, Volume 1 and Volume 2. So like um, the Light and Dark Fantasy, um, they were two separate books and they combined it um, into one. So there's only a single image of each. And they are slightly grayscaled. Just slightly, it's not like a full grayscale. But lovely, lovely images. I'm sorry if you can hear the construction in the background. Um, I guess once the sun came out, uh, they started construction again. Okay, so this is Vampires Volume 1 and Volume 2. And the last book is Chibi Girls, um, grayscale, two books in one. So the, uh, the first Chibi Girl, um, this one I showed earlier, which is just a line art. And then you have the second Chibi Girls that came out. And so there's one image of each and they are grayscaled. So I don't have the second one, so um, I'm glad that I can have it in here with images from both books yeah my book is bent a little bit because my male lady um, uh, has had it bent inside my mailbox but uh, yeah I think I showed this on my coloring book haul I remember the noses <laughs> or lack of a nose okay and I know um, I did um, order another book of Jade Summer. It's her newest one uh, called Kawaii 2. So that'll probably be in a future coloring book haul. I want to thank you all so much for watching part six of my coloring book collection, um, especially for sticking um, with me um, as I um, spit out my videos. <laughs> and, um, and I want to thank you for um, watching each and every one. And I know this one is going to be a long one, so I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be flip throughs of a majority of the books I showed in this video. But if there's any that you would like me to do a flip through of, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll try to get it up as soon as I can. Um, and just to let you know, part 7, which is the next video, will be the final video. It will include the rest of my A4 sized books, um, Disney books, and my Coloring Heaven magazines. And then I'll finish the video um, showing you guys what the item I will be giving away. Um, I am just giving one item for the giveaway and it will be open to international subscribers. Uh, since this is my first giveaway and I just started my channel this year, I hope you don't mind that um, it is just 
um, what item um, and I'll see how it goes and if it goes well and I have a good experience with it I will see about um, doing a, another one uh, at a later time so um, the details for the giveaway will be at the end of part 7 of my coloring book collection video and with all that said um, thank you all again please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in part seven take care and happy colorings bye bye